right, so this this is will be an interesting, another family uh, history project here. This is my mother's uh, senior design project from uh, her time at Lawrence Tech, studying electrical engineering. Uh, when I was a kid, I kind of ravaged the parts out of this thing, but um, and also I guess it blew up uh, during demo day, just after the prof saw it. So everyone passed and things worked, but, uh, you know, it uh, blew up and then I took the parts out. So here, this is a uh, SAR ADC, sequential something or other, uh, sorry, successive approximation in electric digital converter. And it's done entirely out of TTL uh, chips. And so um, we're going to use the documentation here to resurrect this thing and make it good as new uh, and robustify it a bit so we can show the kids. Show the kids what grandma did. Okay, so the first thing uh, is the AC side of the power supply, which uh, I put a switch in and I rewired the power cord with a three prong grounded outlet, put a terminal strip in for the, uh, so it picks up a ground lug and also the output of the center tapped transformer and it looks pretty good. So that's a 6.3 volt center tap unloaded right now. So we'll move on to the next step, which is the mechanical mounting of the uh, circuit board itself before we work on the power supply. Okay, so I've completed a, um, a robust mechanical installation of the main board here. That way it uh, will not go anywhere as we make this thing work. Next step will be to wire up the power supply. Okay, so we've hooked up the DC power supply um, off of just half the transformer, which was not the case before, it was actually across the whole thing. So this is a 12 volt center tap, so they're running off the full 12. Um, I think that's why this regulator was damaged. There's some rework on the board showing there's a second regulator in here that was replaced with this, with the later one. So I think they are blowing up regulators. Um, so anyway, I've uh, replaced this one, put a nice big heat sink on it. And if we turn on the power, you know, perfect, right where it needs to be. Uh, next, we're gonna take a look at, try to figure out where the clock 555 goes, clock oscillator, and hook that up and get that running. But I suspect what happened was this was burning out and I need to look at what the failure mode of the 7805 is. Does it, does it pass through all the voltage or does it just open circuit? Okay, I got the clock generator going. Uh, it's pretty nice and slow in the kilohertz range, much lower than the 100 kilohertz, uh, 180 kilohertz in the report, but it works nonetheless. So there's the 555 timer cranking away. There's the uh, 74LS112, uh, the JK flip-flop that is giving me the two phases, Q and Q, uh, not and um, we're just going to have to try to find the other parts now. I'm just trying to walk it forward, find that 7404 and find the 7402 and populate those chips next. And we'll just walk it forward.
Okay, so the clock generator is working according to this. Everything looks good. Um, a lot of chips <laughs> for the clock generator. Let's see if I can probe some of the outputs here. Yeah, I mean, there's one of them, which is this CP Plus. And here's the inverted version of it. And they're all in phase as expected. So uh, we'll move on to the next piece. So that's working, looking good. Okay, so now uh, I've cleaned up some of the wiring. Here's the R2R DAC. There's D0, D1, D2, D3. And I've just placed little ground uh, loops for all the grounds and the data points. And then there's a bunch of reset pins. I'm not quite sure what they are yet. Uh, here's the op amp. I think this is the VN, but we'll figure out that. So I think the next step is hook up the LEDs. Just tack them on here and see what the thing reads. Then try the op amp and then try to sort out the, the reset button. Okay, so I've gotten more progress on this project here. Um, it's I'm not sure if it's converting yet or what's doing, but you can see the reference move and the bits change when I change the start and stop. So uh, some weird stuff's happening with the analog. I found that this op amp, the any um, 5230 has the same pinout as a 741, but um, it goes down to zero volts and up to five, so it's perfect for this thing. So I'm uh, running with that in, in here now, and I've got to look at some analog issues on this uh, R2R DAC, make sure it's functioning correctly. But I have the voltage input uh, connected and uh, the new op amp in there, it's doing stuff with the bits. So we'll keep going and see what's going on here. Here's the bar graph display. Okay, so now we've uh, assembled the uh, bar graph display that will, will actually tell you the analog voltage and then the digitizer will read it out. And here's the digitizer. Everything appears to be working. I added a little potentiometer on there to calibrate it on the bottom of the board. And this chip gets pretty warm if all the digits are on. So I'm going to try to come up with a method to, to heat sink it. Um, we'll see how that works. Okay, so I'm heat sinking this plate onto here. Or sorry, I'm gluing this plate onto there with JB Weld. Uh, and then I'll add some heat sink grease to the top of this chip. This plate should give me a little, should extend this metal, uh, the outside metal case down to the top of the chip snugly when the board's bolted on. Even though there are only two mounting points, uh, should be good enough to get the heat off that chip. JB Weld does conduct heat to some extent, uh, not as good as uh, metal to metal and other, you know, probably not as good as heat sink compound, but uh, I figure heat sink with the chip to this metal plate, that should be enough by itself. And then what additional heat sinking comes out uh, to the top panel is all good. Chip's going to dissipate about one watt or so, so this is overkill. And there's the opening, so we'll let that dry and we'll come back to it tomorrow. Okay, this heat sink here, the test fit fits perfectly against the chip. So we'll bolt this in, we'll put a little heat sink compound in there and wire it up.
Okay, so I've got this thing all set up here. The, uh, the, it's hard to see how cool this looks in the light here, but this is really cool looking. Um, the chip is heat sinking well. It does not feel warm at all. And neither does the voltage regulator. So we'll just, uh, this run for a bit. Everything's looking good. It's converting data. Uh, I had to replace this pot with a 10 turn 250k that I salvaged out of something. Makes it easier to calibrate. Oh! 